What's up guys, it's your boy Keon Miss Rockoff Johnson here with another video. How you guys feeling today? Real quick before we uh, get on with this video, let's uh, push our problems to the side and just enjoy this time that we have. Uh, real quick, just to throw the elephant in the room uh, out there, it is getting dark. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, I live on the East Coast, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland and we're actually dealing with cicadas. Uh, they don't come out at night, so I have to wait till nighttime to film my videos, or else you guys are gonna, just gonna see a bunch of bugs flying all around and everything like that. But of course, as you guys just saw, my beautiful, bad and boosted FRS is on, and I just wanted to give you guys um, a video. I've done this before when I first broke my record and all that kind of stuff, which so far as I'm, so far as I know, it still stands. This still stands to be the fastest uh, automatic uh, FRS with the FA20 motor and the A90E transmission, which is the stock block and the stock transmission that's in it. Um, don't. There we go. <laughs> Believe that uh, I still have that record um, because people are still hitting me up about my setup and no one's been able to. Uh, break it at least so far as what I've been told and by the way that record is 12-2 uh, at 114 uh, I'm pretty sure I can go back and break it but I just haven't done it just because I've just been enjoying my car since I've had it back but um yeah I just wanted to make this video honestly because a lot of people especially since we got a bunch of new people on here and believe it or not some people don't even know that this is boosted which I don't understand how you cannot but yeah so I just wanted to go ahead and give a rundown on everything done to the car so I have all of my paperwork here through the years from both Andrew Tech Automotive and Pure Automotive. Pure Automotive, uh, they're the ones that originally built and tuned the car. When my car was tuned by them, that's when I broke the record. Um, and Andrew Tech Automotive, they retuned it and all that kind of stuff just because we ran into some issues. And Pure was actually the one that told me to try out, try going to Andrew, uh, Andrew Tech Automotive. Um, so no sweat on them or anything like that i still like pure automotive performance i still definitely recommend them um but i'm just being real with what's been done to my build so of course this is my 2014 scion frs i bought it brand new off the uh lot i basically put the original uh well the 14 miles on it um from constantly test driving it and everything it only had two miles on it when i when i first uh, went to test drive the car so i am the original owner and the only owner that this car has had uh so yeah so real quick to start off we're gonna start off with the main thing and that's my sticker now i'm just joking we're gonna start off with of course the intercooler and the turbo and all that kind of stuff and it is a speed by design 500x turbo kit uh but it has been slightly upgraded uh to have an external wastegate versus an internal wastegate because I actually bent my internal wastegate way back when. So that's been the only real change to it and I have this little like filter on it instead of the one that came on it just because that one was working a little better for me. Uh, I will go into the specs of the built motor but it is a stock block but uh, those internals but like I said I'll go into all that later. Right here, we have a full-blown motorsports oil catch can. This is just a mega racing strut tower bar. It ain't even, it ain't even doing nothing. I literally just got it just because. We got the Visconti flex fuel kit. It is on flex fuel right now. Currently, it's on 93. But of course, I do put this car on E85, and it was on E85 when I broke the record. Montegi Racing track light wheels. They are 18 by 8 in the front. Well, they're 18 by 8. When I even went with my, uh, when I. It's a square. It's a square pattern, so it's it's the same thing. Uh, all four of my wheels are 18 by 8, uh, 225, 40, 18 on them. My rear wheels that I have on it right now are actually my drag radials. Uh, I can't. What is that? TR Motorsports. Um, I just got that wheel just because it fits the car. But um, it is a 17 by 9 inch wheel with a. 275 4017 on it and they are mickey thompson et street r's because if you guys know me and obviously in case you didn't hear i raced this car so yeah <laughs> right here on the back we have the sabon carbon fiber trunk um nothing really much to say about it it's 
it's a carbon fiber trunk by Savon. I mean, you guys should understand it. Uh, I actually have an eBay exhaust system. It's a God Snow exhaust system. It cost me like a hundred bucks. Nothing crazy. It's just a, a three inch and a four inch exhaust. So coming into the car now, even though it's not on because I actually ha there's actually a shortage in it. Like it's plugged up, but it's just not coming on right now. Um, this is a P3 gauge. P3 boost gauge, matter of fact, let me see if I... So P3 boost gauge, little, little hidden air vent gauge that I have in there, and I've had this for like, uh, I wanna say like maybe three, four years now. As I will talk about in a second, this car does have a torque converter on it. Upgraded torque converter, I'm gonna give you the specs on that uh, when we get to actually talking about it. But I do also have a trans cooler fan. Pretty sure you guys can hear that. Even if you can't, of course, that's my switch to turn on the fan. So far as the brakes, they're just stop tech brakes, not anything crazy. Um, and that's pretty much everything that you can see or hear on the car that's um, done to it. If you listen closely, I just set off a car alarm. Okay, and now that my neighbors have, you know, shut off their car after I shut off, you know, their car alarm, <laughs> we can go ahead and jump back into the video. Um, but to start off with the car, we're going to go ahead and start off with the built motor. Again, it is a stock block, so it is the stock uh, FA20 block. It is the stock block that came in the car. And I didn't build the motor until I had beat the piss out of it and caught raw knock. But understand that when I caught raw knock i literally like it's exactly what i just said i i beat i beat the mess out this car man i mean i drifting it racing it just running and I, I even though i have another car and i had you know like a daily driver i was daily in it at the same time just because i love driving it so much which i still do honestly um i just couldn't help it but i caught raw knock and when I caught Rod Knock, I was just like, all right, time to put a built motor in. And I did take it to Pure Automotive, like I said, to uh, build the motor because I, as you can see, I'm outside and I just don't have um, a facility to build a motor in. Uh, I know some people that'll do it outside, but I'm going to be honest, in the neighborhood I live in, yeah, that's bad news. I shouldn't do that. Somebody going to come up and steal my shit. <laughs> but... To start off, we have mainly lightweight forged pistons, which give us a 10%, mm, excuse me, mm, give us, which give us a 10 to 1 uh, compression ratio, and the, it's still an 86 millimeter boring stroke, so it is still to the same specs of the stock pistons. It's not, it's not a stroke motor. Um, it, we didn't increase the liters in it or anything like that. It's still a two. It's still a two-liter boxer motor that you know basically came from the factory, just with stronger parts and obviously a different compression ratio. Because I believe the starting compression ratio on these cars is like 14 to one versus the 10 to one compression ratio that I have now. Henceforth, why my car next to other 86s sound different. Then on top of that, we have Skunk 2 H-beam connecting rods, uh, King X Performance rod bearing set, King X Performance main bearing set. Uh, GSC performance valve springs with titanium retainers. Um, we have a Subaru OEM gasket set. Uh, the plugs were just OEM Toyota plugs. Um, APR head studs for the FA20 motor. I have injected injector dynamics, uh, ID 1050X um, injectors that, of course, are for this car. And I do have an upgraded fuel pump as well. And I have a 340. LPH fuel pump. I'll be honest, my paper doesn't say who it's by, and I can't fully remember right now. Honestly, if I if I can find it and and or if I remember or something like that, I will definitely go ahead and just pop it up here. But sorry guys. Now we're gonna go ahead to the transmission. Again, it is basically still a stock transmission. The trans isn't built. I don't even know where to go to find a transmission that's built for these cars. Nobody cares about these cars, especially in its stock configuration, especially with the automatic transmission. Um, it's really, it's literally just me and like a couple of other people that's even doing anything. 
uh, with this setup, most people, of course, they put two JZs or LSs in them. Or, Stuff like that. I mean, I've seen all kinds of crazy motors, Yamaha motors. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff in this car. I do have an SSP uh, upgraded torque converter and an SSP trans cooler on the car. Uh, of course, like I showed you guys, it does work really well. It does really good at keeping the temperatures down and all that kind of stuff. I still have the stock trans cooler on it, so that's usually when I'm driving around town. That's what I use. But when I'm racing, I'm using the upgraded one because when I mean to tell you it keeps it cool cool son my my fluid will be like frozen <laughs> if I leave my fan on which has happened before and then it, it actually locked me out of some gears which is really weird and interesting but hey I'm totally fine with the fail safe like that <laughs> and that's pretty much gonna conclude it for like all the you know fast fast upgrade parts um now so far as the tuning goes I'm not gonna say how much it costs to actually tune the car just because I I don't know I just don't want to put out like that kind of information just because it's it's the shops you know information all that kind of stuff um, but I have an AEM uh, ele electronic boost controller on there and we did you well they did use an Ecutech uh, license to tune the car, but the car is dyno tuned and is dyno tuned by Pure Automotive Performance. Well, initially, uh, of course, later on down the line, I got dyno tuned by Andrew Tech. I'm about to talk about that in a second and why that happened. Um, but all together for my initial build with all the parts that are on the car now, including the price of the wheels, the price of the tires, the price of the trunk, um, literally. This entire initial build uh, cost me about $1,300, excuse me, not 1300 $13,000. I do love this car and I'm not ashamed nor do I even care about all the money that I spent on it because the memories, the fun times and everything that I have with this car, to me it just outweighs it. So, you know, you literally make money to spend it. You can't take it with you when you go, so I like to enjoy life. Now, to get into Andrew Tech and why they retuned the car and they changed out some stuff because they, we, I actually had to get new injectors. Um, I had to get a new uh, TCM. I had to get a new direct injection ECU. Basically, the reason why I had to do that um, was because I was experien experiencing a lot of fuel cut issues. And then, out of nowhere, like... The car just got dead pedal, it threw check engine lights, car got dead pedal, and it was just dead in the water, and the car was down for like two years. It spent like a year at, at um, Pure Automotive, excuse me, at Pure Automotive Performance, where they had went through the car, they did so much stuff, and they just could not figure out what was wrong with it. So they were like, you know, I, so the uh, owner of Pure, Brian, who actually owns the fastest uh, 86 period, I think it's a seven or six second car it's a green 86 you guys have honestly seen it in my videos if you remember from back in the day when I used to go up there we can't figure it out I do have a good friend over at Andrew Tech Automotive you should take it there uh, we set that whole thing up I took the car there they had the car for uh, almost almost about a year too honestly uh, but they did end up figuring it out obviously as I have the car now so far as dyno numbers because I'm sure you guys would like to know on the car as it sits right now on pump gas on 93 octane uh, because I'm on the east coast so if you're watching this like over on the west I do understand that you guys only get 91 we get 93 here so on 93 octane it makes 386 horsepower 310 pound for the torque and on E85 it makes 439 horsepower 379 pound for the torque so basically 440 380 um, on E85 in this fastest configuration and you can feel the difference let me tell you it is pretty rowdy um, just so you guys can see we ain't capping over here <laughs> that's the chart right there as you can see it just keeps going up uh, and this car revs all the way up to like 7900 rpm with that uh, torque converter in it so it also screams loud or at least it just screams high it, i just love this car would i ever get rid of this car honestly uh lord willing no no so long as i can keep this car i will keep it for the rest of my life 
uh, it is paid off. I don't really have a lot of complaints with the car. If again, if there's anything that I did, I would probably honest. I would probably honestly just take the um, upgraded torque converter out and throw the stock converter back in it, um, just to make it. You know, again, not as race focused, but it's not like I would ever take the turbo off or anything like that. I would never do anything like that. I am completely pleased with the car, man. I love this thing. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the car, make sure you put them down in the comments. I will definitely answer them. I'm very good at answering comments, of course. And yeah, if you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Make sure you get the. Make sure you get the merch. Merch link is down in the description below. And as always, guys, you stay classy, stay positive, and have a good day.